have so many people that don't want someone to find out that they're positive. And the stigma keeps them from getting uh, care, uh, going to the health department or a doctor or whatever. And it keeps them from even starting medication. We've got to break that barrier so that uh, HIV and AIDS will become a common thing to be talked about. Back in the 80s and 90s, AIDS was talked about in the newspaper or the television a couple times a week at least. Now you never hear anything about AIDS. So we need to get AIDS back into the main street where uh, the public's talking about it, and our officials and everyone else is talking about it now. The young are think that they're invincible. But even those that are my age seem to think, oh, well, it's never going to happen to me. It's going to happen to someone else. And now you can... Uh, we have this weird people, some uh, weird thing that some say that now you, you can only, you only have to take a pill. Well, maybe that's right that you only have to take one pill, but the thing is all the side effects and the other things that goes on in my life, uh, if they knew you know, half the things I I've had to have a hip replaced, and now I have to have the other hip replaced and a shoulder replaced. And that's because I've been on HIV meds for so many years that it has built up in my system and created blood clots that make the socket actually disintegrate. And as it disintegrates, I have pain and everything, so my, my HIV meds since 1996 have kept me alive, but there have been a lot of side effects. Well, I haven't had a romantic life since I was declared AIDS in 96, although I had a partner uh, before everything was just fine. Uh, we did everything together. We had sex every day, but after I was declared AIDS, he never touched me after that, never hugged me or anything after that, so. Just taking a pill is not the answer if you get HIV, so being cautious about everything. Uh, someone gets cut or what, you know, wear gloves and uh, use condoms. Have, use your head and protect yourself and whoever you're with. And that's, that's one of the most important things. A lot of people aren't even or haven't even been tested. They think they are negative because they haven't been ill. The illness is what uh, people relate to actually being positive or uh, like back in the 80s when our, our friends would get to be a skeleton. You know, lose weight and wastings and the whole nine yards. Uh, you could tell if someone had AIDS. Today, you can't tell. It's something that's with you every day. And as my experience in the last few weeks with being ill, uh, it can kill you at any time. So you just have to 
take it one day at a time and uh, not let it get to you or, or not let it run your life. You have to be in control of it. You know, I've lost hundreds of friends to AIDS and my partner. So, uh, you know, it, it's that remembering those things, yes, that's difficult, but yet I always try to remember the good times we had together and, and the good things we did together and, and things like that. So I take a negative and try to turn it into a positive always. So you have to do that when you're positive. You have to keep positive.